welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Stephanie and I really love makeup. Um, I gotta put my phone on silent because it's gonna keep going off. So I took a poll on Instagram and we're gonna see what the people chose. Oh my God, look what just popped up. This picture of Jaclyn Hill, look at her. Bitch. Oh my God. She's releasing a volume two of the Morphe palette and I could not be more excited. Okay, let's see what one on Instagram. I said either a Valentine's Day look or an everyday glam. It looks like Valentine's Day one. Yeah, baby. Good, I'm wearing a shirt that I could wear cranberries with, so. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a Valentine's Day look. I'm super excited, Valentine's Day is next Friday, and then I have that Monday off, so I get to just do Valentine's Day shenanigans all weekend, which is lovely. My favorite thing to do. <laughs> okay, so let's just jump right into it. If you'd like to see my Valentine's Day look, then just keep on watching. So I've really, I've been doing my eyes first, a lot. I used to do my face first, and now I've been doing my eyes first, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna zoom you in. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Good, okay. So, we're gonna start with the eyes. My skin has been so dry lately, so I put oils on and I hope it's moisturized. Look at my lips. Just not, this winter has not been good for me. So I'm gonna start first off by priming. This is the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I always prime my lids and everyone else's lids with this over concealer. I've been doing that lately um, because, let me get my mirror, because, um, Concealer, uh, depending on your skin type or how your eyelids are, will sometimes crease and not look the best. Not that you, you don't have to buy this, you can totally use concealer, but I just um, prefer this. I have been preferring this over concealer lately. So that's what we're gonna use. To each their own but I've noticed creasing a lot on me and other people using concealer. So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette, the original one. So I'm going to do a light sweep, starting with this color up here. Oh God, hold on, let me. Silk Cream is this one right here. I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush. This is just a Morphe. This is one of the Jaclyn Hill ones, GH30. Big old fluffy, I'm gonna dip in there. And I'm just gonna dust that into the crease. I'm not worried if it's going on to the lid a little bit. I don't mind that at all because we'll fix that later. I'm gonna dip actually into the James Charles palette quickly. This is this like magenta color, like this darker pink, and then I'm gonna put a cranberry on top of it. We're gonna see how it looks. So I'm gonna dip into that. And I'm going to go with that on the, I'm going to run it through the crease. Then I'm also gonna bring it down and run it on the lash line, kind of flaring it out, making like a shape is what I'm gonna go for. 
going to repeat on the other eye. in with that first brush that I used to lay down that brown color and I'm just going to no additional product blend over this so we get a nice soft really lightly I'm not putting super super hard pressure I'm not applying a lot of pressure I'm just sweeping it right over so it softens it I'm going to now take the color from the Jaclyn Hill palette it's Jacks. Jax, so it's this cranberry color right here. Oh God, I got stuff all over me. I'm gonna take that on another Morphe brush and I'm going to put this right over top of that. Not any higher than the crease. Just marrying the two together. Sorry if you can see my Jeffree Star mirror. Okay, I changed my mind and haloed this shape. <laughs> but that's okay, we're gonna work with it. I'm gonna go back in with the brush that I used for the James Charles color. And I'm gonna run that on top of this color. And then I'm gonna go back in with that Big, 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 big fluffy one. And I'm gonna go right over both of those. Making sure everything's soft and blended. All right, I'm going to take a flat shader brush and I'm going to use my paint pot to carve out the center where I want the sequins to go. That down, I'm gonna go over and just make sure that the edges are blended. And with another flat shader, and I'm gonna pick up, I'm gonna be using the Tati Beauty palette for this because I really like their um, metallic shades. And I'm gonna go in with Aura, that's the shade here. I'm going to take my flat brush, I'm going to be picking up some on that, and I'm going to pack it on the center. Right where I have that product. Okay, then I'm going to go back in with the brush that I put down the cranberry with and I'm gonna run it over the edges. 
so everything is nice and blended together. No additional product on this. I'm going to take a Morphe flat brush, just like this, and I'm gonna dip into a black. I'm gonna use the black from the matte black from the James Charles palette, and I'm going to tightly smudge this. on the lash line. Not winging it out, just giving something for the lashes to adhere to. We're going to put our lashes on quickly um, on the top and then we will do the rest of it. We'll work on the lower lash line when I am Done with the face. So I'm going to quickly Curl my lashes and apply some mascara The mascara I'm using is the it cosmetics lash blowout mascara And the lashes I'm going to be using are the Rain Lashes in the style Araya and Wispy. Love them. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to trim them a little bit on the outer corner. And of course, I'm going to be using the Duo Brush On Adhesive, my favorite of all time. We're going to put on this eye first. I'm going to look down into my mirror, take my lash. Place it directly in the center. Secure the outer corner. On to the next. This is my real technique sponge. Just gonna spray it with a little Morphe flooding spray. And um, my face is already primed. Come back to me light. My face is already primed and ready to go. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Sometimes I come back to certain foundations, you know, for a little while. I always, always, always when my skin is more dry, go back to the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I love that foundation. Even when I was more oily, I loved it. But right now I don't have my perfect shade. So it's put away and I missed it, but it's okay. Also, I feel like now I have to change my shirt. Because <laughs> this is not the right shirt for this eye look. I totally went off of what my original plan was, but like that's what happened every time. I'm going to grab the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm going to dot this under my eyes. And I'm gonna go right up by that eyeshadow. I've been taking a brush to get really in that corner right there and really underneath. of my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I'm gonna take a little brush this is just another Morphe brush I'm gonna put some in the cap I'm gonna dab 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 
chop off quite a bit of the excess. And then I'm going to hit right under here. Pat, 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 pat. My skin has been dry lately. I don't want to set my whole face. I just want to go under my eyes because that's, I don't want that to crease. And a little bit around my nose. Just dotting it right there. And then I'll make sure it's wiped away. That's it. That's all I'm setting. Now also, I'm just going to bronze with the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker bronzer in the shade Island Ting. I'll take an angled brush. And I'll just go... Not in the hollows, but a little bit around the edges. I've been really into letting my um, freckles peek through. I'll take this big Morphe brush. It's just a kind of like a tapered brush right here, big fluffy one. I'll go over both of those. take my blush brush. I'm going to go in. I'm going to use the um, KKW Mario Very Graceful blush. Just a little bit of that. This stuff is pigmented. Pigmented. I'll brush a little bit off on the back of my hand. And then I'll always smile like this and I'll start on the apples and take it back. my favorite of all time. This is the Milk Flex Highlighter in the shade Lit. Favorite of life. Oh god, I haven't done my brows. Alright, for brows, I'm going to take my Benefit Brow Pencil and I'm going to comb through them and you all know I am like the queen of saying I love a good natural brow I just do <laughs> so I'm going to run a little bit under right here this is the goof proof one so it does have an angle to the tip of it so I'm going to turn the angle upwards and I'm going to lightly I mean I'm going super lightly brush through them I mean lightly and then I'm going to take the spoolie and comb through all of that just gives it a little oomph because I have such a heavy eye look on right now and then of course from there, I'm going to take my Benefit 3D Brow Tones and comb through these brows. Okay, that's done. Now I'm going to work on the lower lash line. I'm not going to do a ton. I'm going to do just the minimum, not the minimum. I'm just going to do a little bit underneath the eyes. Just two simple colors. A small dome brush. Looks like this. Very small domey brush. And I'm going to work directly out of the Tati Beauty palette. So I'm going to grab a light brown that's basically equivalent to the brown that I put 
laid down first from the Morphe palette. We're going to lay that brown down. Run it close to the lash line. I kind of do things in a backwards way, like most people put the dark color down and then blend out with the lighter color, but I'm kind of going to do it a little bit backwards. Bear with me, this isn't like the rule, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> and then I'm going to go into that Poet shade, which is that nice cranberry shade from the Tati Beauty palette. Tap off a little bit, and then I'm just going to directly start buffing this with that color right on top. I'm going to meet it with the shadow. Do the same thing on the other eye. Damn. It's my mother. If you want to deepen it, you can. I'm going to run over it one more time. Like so. And now I'm going to take the brush that we did all of the cranberry. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to take the brush that we did all of the cranberry blending with. This has no additional product on it. And I'm going to run this right over top of that. Blowing it out. Really getting it nice and blown out. I just love an eye like this. It's so sultry. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to take a flat shader brush again, and I'm going to dip into that Aurora shade from the Tati Beauty palette, the shade that's all over the center of our lid, and I'm going to pop this in the inner corner. And also on the brow bone. Like so. And then I'm going to take my mascara and I'm going to put some on my lower lash line. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a little bit of the black that we took and I'm just going to tightly put that only on the outer from the James Charles palette. I took that black and I'm just gonna only put that on the outer, outer edge. Yes. Definitely. Beautiful. Okay. Now we're going to do lips and then we're done. Okay. Well, that was gross. I had that all over my teeth. Okay. We're better now. We're in a better phase of it. Better. Okay. So I wanted to keep I wanted to keep the lips very neutral, um, so I chose the Ofra um, Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Verona, and then I topped it with the Kylie OU Fancy Gloss, and then later on in the day, when it starts to wear off, I'll put a little bit of a lighter shade on top, which is the KKW Mario Lip, uh, lip Gloss. That was my Valentine's Day look. This is the finished look. It's complete. I obviously have to change my shirt, so we're gonna cover that with my hair because <laughs> it doesn't match. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this Valentine's Day tutorial. This is a very sultry look. I would recommend this for dinner, a dinner date, or if you're ballsy like me, wear it to the grocery store, which is exactly where I'm gonna go. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss another video with me. Leave below any suggestions of what else you'd like to see and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.